Oh, it's coming in hot. Missed it, missed it. Well, that time we got him with both hooks. Kind of throw him back. It was about 25 inches. The sunfish eyed it up. It's coming right in. Not pussyfooting around. Oh, gonna nip it. Take it a little bit more and got him. Got another one interested coming right in. It's fun watching them through the spearing hole. Gonna let them take a little bit. Get it in good. Let them run. Those bass startled me pretty good. Came in, swallowed that rattle wrap. I decided to let them go. Uh, we got a couple come back in here. So I actually drove my vehicle out here, which I probably shouldn't have, but it was pretty wore out. I didn't want to walk. So I was almost one of those idiots that falls through the ice. This one's coming in. I guess he's gonna snub his nose at it. Something he didn't like about that red jig. So I pretty much explored this whole lake now and it gets down to about 20 feet, but the water is so clear that it's vegetation all the way down to 20, which is fine by me. And still plenty of fish in there. Oh, got him. Uh, no walleyes. It's not stocked with walleye, but there's a couple of creeks where the fish get in here. So it could be just about anything, but it's really good fishery for bass, sunfish, crappies, northerns. Looking down on these sunfish, the one that's come in to kind of look at my jig and dropping down. He was, I don't know, quite a bit bigger than the other ones. I was thinking he was up into nine inches. Would have been nice to get him. These fish are pretty curious. They're really in tune to anything that comes in their environment. So just checking out that rattle wrap. I'm running away from my jig. It's pretty focused on that jig. Oh shit, here comes a pike. Well, it's fast, but I was just a little bit faster than you. 